the thing that has to be done is to reduce the stigma. I mean, there are, there are, there are some folk um, who refuse uh, to uh, take a look at medication-assisted treatment as an option for the person sitting right in front of them. Why? Because it's their belief that you don't substitute one drug for another or you don't, that's their belief. It's a, there's a stigma has been, so, so what's happened uh, in Philadelphia um, is that the behavioral health system has now required everyone who is a part of our system on the outpatient level, intensive outpatient level, inpa every level of care, every level of care must have a linkage agreement with an, a medication-assisted treatment program. And by medication-assisted treatment, I'm referring to Vivitrol, uh, buprenorphine, and or methadone. So if someone comes to your door and you um, are an LBGTQ uh, service provider, you are some other mental health service provider, and that person might benefit from medication-assisted treatment, now you have a linkage. You can say that, hey, if you've had a history of drinking, that program over there uh, will also provide uh, Vivitrol. Let me connect you with them because maybe that program doesn't do it. They can connect them with a the methadone program. They can connect them with a the Suboxone program. Um, so, 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 so that's one way that Philadelphia is helping to really push through because if you sit around and wait for the stigma to go away, it'll still be there 10 years from now. So we're pushing through it by requiring folk to develop policies, linkage agreements, policies and procedures.